Um, as you know, uh, can notice, I have a, an American accent, not a British accent. I feel somehow that I'm the, uh, the lone American in the, the room right now so far. Uh, what, what we're going to talk about in our uh, session is the idea that two things are important in avoiding systemic risk. One is to avoid it ahead of time, not after the fact. And the second is that data information is very important in that issue. The second of these things may fly in the face of what goes on in the American political process. But we do know in the financial crisis that we had in the last year that there was an enormous amount of data out there. But regulators, governments, others could not really find ways to tap that data. And there was an enormous amount of ignorance on the part of decision makers about how broad and how sweeping things might be. If you look at Geithner's testimony yesterday about AIG, you see that he was really in the dark and they were trying to make decisions without the appropriate data. So systemic risk is there and we have a lot of data points. These data points are highly fragmented. What, it, what that means is companies have lots of data, even industries have lots of data, certainly regulators have lots of data, but most of this is done by industry and company and regulator. And there's no teeing up of all this information and data to a central point. So that if we want to avoid financial risk into the future, what we really need is to collect all that data, put it in a central repository. And once it's in that central repository, if we can analyze it, if we can begin to find the linchpins in the data that would suggest weakness going forward, that's one method of avoiding all these things. Now, in order to do that, we have to find the fact, well, we have to recognize the fact that there are uh, many participants in this um, panoply of information and, and activity that's going on. There are regulators. I sit on the board of three insurance companies in the United States, and I know that we have three different states regulating our insurance companies in those states. We also know that academics do a pretty good job, mostly retrospective, but retrospective isn't bad if what we can figure out is, in retrospect, what were the important elements in any financial crisis? And of course, industry participants. Uh, I might add in here politicians. Increasingly, when there is systemic risk, when the whole world could melt down, we know that politicians are going to act after the fact, if not ahead of the facts. And of course, what this proposal will do, if we were to implement it, is it would give politicians as well as industry participants some information ahead of time so that hopefully we would avoid systemic risk. Well, that means, therefore, that we need a collaboration of multi-stakeholders. We need to find ways in which companies, regulators, industry uh, trade groups, uh, academics, all the above, and probably the, uh, the average citizen can find ways to see that even if there is a collaborative effort to put everything together, that shouldn't threaten the independence of any of these stakeholders. You know, the Hippocratic Oath for the medical profession is do no harm. I think if we were to look at this proposal and say one of the key points here isn't to point fingers, it's to do no harm. It's to avoid future systemic risks by knowing what the key points are. Um, it was interesting in Davos here about eight or nine years ago, I participated in one of the financial industry groups, and they began to focus on credit default swaps. And it turned out that nobody knew what was going on. And so with Barclays, Goldman Sachs, Merrill Lynch, uh, J.P. Morgan, and others, they forged a working group. And of course, that's probably what we're going to need in this, is that we're going to need a working group of interested parties to look at the data and the collection of that data, find ways in which the collaborators of, of the industries, and it's not just the banking industry or just the insurance industry or any other financial part of the industry, but if all of these collaborators were to get together in a working group, and say, yes, here's the data that we really need to collect. Let's be able to summarize that data in a central repository. 
look at the key elements, and if one of the key elements, let's say it's subprime loans, looks like it could be a threat, drill down. Now, this isn't going to be easy. I'm sure a lot of the industry participants won't like this in, in many respects. If you just look at what uh, the various entities have said uh, just leading up to this, uh, Diamond of Barclays uh, is clearly uh, chafing at additional regulation. But those of you who want to participate in this will welcome you around the board right over here to my left. Thank you.